Hey there, I am back with another deck review and today we're going to look at Hellcats from Custom Gambler Playing Cards. This deck was designed by Steven Lewis and released on Kickstarter. It pays tribute to the world famous Blue Angels, the flight demonstration squad of the United States Navy. And they date all the way back to 1946, which makes them the second oldest flight demonstration group in the world behind only the Patrouille de France out of, of course, France. Uh, the deck not only pays tribute to the Blue Angels, but actually goes back to their roots with the F6, F5 Hellcat, which was the very first plane that the, uh, that the Blue Angels ever flew. They've flown a lot of different planes over the years, but the F6, F5 Hellcat was the original. So that's the inspiration behind the deck, but let's take a look at it and see, see how Custom Gambler did with the deck. All right, starting out with the tuck case. It's by feel, it's kind of a thinner uh, stock to it. Regular glossy stock at first or as the base of this thing, very similar to what you find on a bicycle deck, but it's covered with embossing and accents of super shiny gold foil throughout. You can see just that absolute glow all the way through. The color scheme here is kind of a mixture of old and new. The original Hellcat planes were actually this deep navy blue, almost black, mixed with gold leaf. Uh, today though, they use the brighter blue and yellow that's kind of become their signature. So I love that the tuck case kind of incorporates both color schemes, old and new, to really kind of give you that sense of the overall history of the Blue Angels. Lots of different patterning here. The large emblem in the center, this large circular emblem, features a skull with the, uh, with the military cap on top done in that bright blue color. And then kind of a yellow and blue, looks almost like a military medal there. I like the design, although I'm not really sure how the skulls tie in too much with the Blue Angels. That said, you'll see that skull motif kind of repeated throughout. At the top it says Hellcats and Luxury Playing Cards. At the bottom says New Orleans Playing Card Company. Uh, and then lots of gold patterning and really intricate detail patterns throughout. You can see the stripes and you may be able to make out in the foil there. It's a little bit muddled, but you can kind of see that ornate pattern and detail to pattern that goes all the way around the borders. Lots of gold on this mixed in with kind of a glossier feel on the non-gilded parts of the tuck case, uh, but really kind of fancy look to it overall. And the uh, embossing on it's pretty subtle. As you turn to the sides, we got the Hellcats Naval Aviation Edition on both sides. Bottom has your ad copy for Custom Gambler as well as Stephen Lewis. Uh, the decks and the cards though were printed by the USPCC. Top covered up here, but it says Custom Gambler Playing Cards. Back, this is not the back design of the cards, but gives you more design work once again. The shield here is kind of reminiscent of the actual logo of the Blue Angels and pictured inside, You've got the uh, sort of scene of the planes, those propeller planes that represent the Hellcats flying through the sky with that sunset in the background. Really cool color scheme and glow to it overall. The top, really tiny, almost two tiny letters, says Hellcats edition. And the top here, you also get a uh, Latin phrase, says non sibi sed patria, uh, which means not for self, but for country. Uh, it's a bit of a motto within the U.S. Navy. These words actually appear just above the door to the U.S. Naval Academy's chapel. Uh, bottom, custom game of playing cards. Lots more gold foil to take in as you go all the way through. And a nice gold postage stamp style tuck seal featuring a silhouette of the uh, Hellcat. And the numbering there out of, hard to make out there, but 2,500 overall decks. Inner flap. A little bit more gold detailing. It says, glad to be here. And then little images of the planes accented with lots of gold foil on the inner flaps. You get that blue and yellow, navy blue, almost black there with the yellow pattern running down the interior of the tuck case. A little bit disappointing, a little bit of a miss of attention to detail in my opinion, but those white flaps on the side and the bottom mean that you don't get the full uh, image of that interior printing. A little bit of a miss, I wish they had continued the pattern on those. But overall, not a bad tuck case. Has a little bit of a cheaper thin feel to it despite all the sort of ornate fixings on it, but still a really nice flashy tuck case. All right, moving to the cards themselves. And here's your back design. So much like the tuck case, a lot of really ornate 
patterns going all the way through this. You get the reflected design that feature once again that same image that we saw in the tuck case, metal at the bottom, and then the capped skull there, uh, all done in those blue and yellows that are symbolic of the Blue Angels. The background has lots of different textures and patterns, but across that stripe running down the middle, you can see the silhouette of a couple of planes there going through. And of course, those are the Hellcats flying across the card there. Lots of borders and ornate patterning going all the way around and finishes out with that thin white poker border. So not a bad back design, a lot of different shadings and textures and everything going on on it. I think it probably could have been simplified, maybe highlighted the planes a little bit more instead of the skulls. Maybe would have liked that a little bit better, but still not a bad back design. Kind of has a bit of a classic feel to it. All right, extra cards. You get a pair of jokers. Uh, the jokers are laid out very similarly to the back design of the cards with that uh, replicated image there. That's the one thing I don't like about it. Would have liked it to differentiate a little bit from the front of the back of the card. Uh, but you get one yellow, one blue, of course, matching those uh, Blue Angels colors. And they feature kind of a jester version of that skull. So same skull we saw before, but this time kind of flanked with the wings and then wearing that blue and yellow jester's cap. Again, a little bit of a miss uh, on the theme for me. I don't know, the skull already kind of confused me. The jester's cap just sort of adds to the confusion. I would have liked to have seen something there a little bit more directly tying into the Blue Angels. But got the Joker Joker in the corner. Lots of really well done patterning around the borders. I do like, the borders are one of the, my favorite things within this. The background of the card, by the way, is slightly patterned. You can see it a little bit there, but it kind of has a marble texture to it, so it's not a pure white. Uh, the other one is the yellow version of the same card, so just kind of a palette swap there. Uh, the rest of the, or the other two extra cards, you do get one double backer. Always interesting to get a gaff card like that. And an ad card for the New Orleans Playing Card Company, a division of Custom Gambler. It has kind of a facsimile signature of Stephen Lewis there. All right, now on to the main deck, and we'll start out with the Aces. So all four Aces kind of feature a similar design. The Ace of Spades just has the Custom Gambler by Stephen Lewis there at the bottom, but all of them feature a large, huge pip uh, with kind of empty or single color in the middle, but then you have the image of the planes flying. Each of them has kind of a slightly different orientation on them, but they each feature a large plane kind of flanked by a couple of smaller planes in the background. Interestingly, all four of the suits each feature a different pip color. So you get black on the spades, white pips on the uh, on the diamonds, blue pips on the clubs, and yellow on the hearts. And then they each have kind of a contrasting background to match. Uh, the indices in the corner, all fairly standard. Uh, pretty easy to read pip and index. Once again, sticking with that four color scheme there. Uh, interesting, I've seen the four colors used in different ways in certain games, so uh, interesting choice in this. I prefer them being two colors, but the four colors isn't bad. All right, now going into the number cards. So the number cards all feature custom pips, the so same shape pip that we saw in the corner there, but this time with a little bit of a negative space cut out with a silhouette of the plane, and then all against that kind of a tapestry style background. So once again, border with that fancy border that we see on a lot of the cards, blue background on all of the spade pips. Uh, nice look to it overall. Uh, and just like the four color pips, the backgrounds are gonna change into four colors uh, as we go through the suits as well. So the diamonds feature a yellow background with the white pips. And then as you get into the clubs, now we get a dark navy background with the lighter blue pips. It's probably my favorite color scheme of them. And then finally the hearts go to a white background with the yellow pips. This is my least favorite probably of them. Uh, so not bad on the number cards. Once again, I would have liked to have seen a little bit of a change in the pip style. Even something as simple as all the planes flying in the same direction maybe would have given you the feel of planes flying in formation. I'm a little bit distracted though by the fact that some of the planes are like flying the other direction, uh, which kind of I think detracts a little bit from the idea that this is one of those formation flying maneuvers that the Blue Angels is so known for. But there's your uh, pips, not too bad on those. Uh, and then the court cards double down on that skull motif. So each one of them is gonna feature a skull in sort of military regalia, complete with a uniform and then the cap. The queen and the king are swapped out with a crown, uh, kind of giving a nod to the classic royalty of playing cards. Uh, but 
heavy use of those blue and yellow colors. The spades are done kind of in that primary blue. The diamonds now switch over to a lot more yellow in these. And then the clubs go back to a mainly blue color scheme. And then finally with the hearts, and now they're wearing largely white accented with yellow uniforms. So like the look of these, there are some slight differences that you'll see in addition to just the color scheme as you go from one jack to the next or one queen to the next, but there are a lot of repeated elements on the courts uh, from one suit to another. Something that kind of annoys me, uh, I think, you know, there's enough customization here that it's not too bad. Like those don't look like repeated artwork, but as you look at them a little bit closer, you'll see pockets, medals, everything are in the same place. It's really primarily a color swap. So would have liked to have seen a little bit more variation in the court cards and beaten this to death a couple of times, but I don't think the skulls really fit as well with this deck as I would have liked. But overall, a lot of really good artwork overall in the deck. I think a couple of things that I would have changed maybe to just match with the theme a little bit better. All right, so handling and stock. These are done on a crushed stock from the USPCC, which means they handle really, really well. Super smooth handling, very smooth for both fans, cuts, uh, dribbles, everything. So can't complain on the handling. Like all USPCC decks, you're gonna be at risk of a little bit of a registration issue, but that's USPCC, that's not a custom gambler thing. Uh, but that's it, that is the look at Hellcats. Uh, I think a nice deck overall, couple of misses, things that I think could have improved it. But overall, particularly if you're a fan of US military themes, this is gonna be a nice deck that if nothing else, the color scheme is gonna really match that nostalgic feel overall. All right, hope you enjoyed this look at Hellcats. I'll put a link down in the description where you can pick these up if you're interested on the uh, Custom Gambler website. But for now, make sure you subscribe for more deck reason unboxings. Let me know what else it is that you wanna see and I'll see you for the next one.